Wow, what a lot has changed in two weeks. Um, two weeks ago we were in Krache and kind of disillusioned with our travels in Cambodia thus far. And now we're in Kampat, which is a little riverside town, also along the Mekong River, but charming and really beautiful. And uh, we found the beauty we were looking for. Last week we were by the sea in Sienoklo and we went exploring around the islands and it was just gorgeous, postcard beautiful. And we've also kind of come to terms with the country a little bit more. We've been talking to lots of people who live here and kind of reading up on the history and, and going to museums and that kind of thing. And I feel like we have a better understanding of, of what influenced Cambodian culture with the genocide and the Khmer Rouge and, and also of, of why the people are the way they are. It's a fascinating country. Um, last week was really relaxed, it was lovely. Uh, we set up camp by the sea in Sienekville and, and basically just worked for a week, which was great because it meant we could go to a supermarket and buy normal food and eat kind of the same thing for breakfast and lunch every day, which made such a huge difference to my blood sugar. It was a lot more stable when you can predict exactly what you're going to eat. Um, and then we had a really exciting couple of days. We went snorkeling on a day trip to an island and then went scuba diving all weekend, which was amazing. Um, and now we're in a new town and we have one more town left in Cambodia and then we go to Vietnam. Um, I do think it's funny that <laughs> I finally feel like we have a handle on the country and, and on the food especially. Like I know the carbohydrate content of all the different meals that we're eating and I feel like Blood sugar wise, it's a lot easier obviously at the end of a country because you're totally sussed about what you're eating. And now we're starting again from scratch in Vietnam, which is part of the joy of the trip, but also one of the challenges diabetically that just when I feel like I've got it down, everything changes. So when next we speak, we'll be in Vietnam. Let's hope the border crossing there is a lot easier than it was getting into Cambodia. So here we are in Kampot on the final leg of our Cambodian journey. Um, we are just come down from Senecville where we spent about a week um, on the coast. Uh, more of a party town than anything else. Uh, fantastic bars um, and lots and lots of uh, kind of budget backpackers. Really kind of catering for the, the more of the kind of party guests really to, to Cambodia. It's, it's got a lot more casinos, a lot of more wealthy people come down Phnom Penh for a weekend to kind of get away, relax, have a bit of a party and then kind of go back. So it's nice, um, but kind of frantic, very tourist orientated. Um, great place to go if you're keen to dive in snorkeling. Went out to two, no, I think about four islands in total with some great diving, um, excellent coral, great fishes, brilliant visibility up to about 20 meters under the water, which is a huge amount. Um, and yes, and then, and then we kind of headed down here to Camp Pot for the last kind of week, really, um, of our Cambodian tour. Um, it's given me a great uh, kind of desire to get out and photo photograph, which I've been kind of lacking in the majority of Cambodia. Um, because I'm not one to kind of delve into kind of uh, social issues and poverty and dirt and all that kind of stuff. Um, and Kampot's got it all. It's got fantastic buildings, uh, great avenues of trees, uh, really interesting little places to look at, um, and just a lot of photographic areas. So I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of them um, on my visual journey in the next week or so once they're all up. Um, and then it's on to Vietnam, which is looking to be quite a, quite a travel. Um, we've got a lot of things planned, a lot of traveling. But it uh, should be good. Hope you can join us.